Good morning, neighborhood community. Good morning. I had another rough night. I was up and down. You okay, Freckles? You okay? I was up and down again all night. Uh, I couldn't get comfortable because of the pain. But we were able to speak to the doctor's nurse. Um, we called the doctor this morning and left a message, and his nurse just called us back, and I went over everything with her. Um, this doctor is not available to speak on the phone until after 7 tonight, um, but when I explained everything that's going on to this nurse, she said that she was going to pass the message along to him right away. So. Um, Kevin seems to think that they're going to call us in for some sort of an appointment or send us for some sort of testing or something. Right. Problem is, is our insurance and everything came out, so now we're overdrawn in our account. So I don't know how we're going to manage to do any of it. I do have some cash. Yeah, but... So we could play, a co we could do a copay. Yeah, but they're going to test us for x-rays or CAT scan or ultrasound or whatever test well, there they is. Can, they they're going to... They could bill us. We'll see. One thing. They'll bill us. Um, and it'll, it'll just go here <laughs> with the rest of the bills. Um, so, anyway, um, when I explained everything to the nurse, she sounded pretty concerned. Um, she couldn't believe that I've been like this for over two weeks. She couldn't believe that the OBGYN didn't do something more than what she did. Yeah, so neither can we. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but that's been the pattern, but, I mean, forever. Well, so with, a... I'm happy with most of my doctors at Kaiser. Let me put it that way. I am happy with most of my doctors at Kaiser. That is why when I deal with anybody at Kaiser, I want to deal with my doctors. I right. don't want to deal with someone new. I don't want to go to urgent care or emergency because they don't know my history. They don't know the fact that if it's something weird, most likely I have it. You know, it, it's hard to explain, but, you know, my doctors expect the weirdest things from me. Right. And then and everybody else just thinks you're. It's all in, in my head, head and, so, and or but, I'm there for for meds and sh right. stuff like that, and, and it's with, not the case. Right. So. So. The other thing is, I want to tell this everybody because I used to be the um, NHR person, and I used to deal with medical all the time from both sides, as an, a patient and as an administrator, that. Um, we do this all the time. You go to a doctor, you say, I have this problem and it's really bad. They'll say, okay, well, I'll, I'll run all the standard tests, right? It's the SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. I will run these tests. And um, you get the test back and you get either an email or a phone call saying, you're fine. Didn't find anything. And you're, you're kind of left going, well, wait a minute, nothing has changed. I'm still in pain. I still have the issue. So, so there's nothing you found on that test, but... Right. <laughs> so you have to push. You just have to push. You're going to have to push. You have to go around. You make, you make enemies, which we've made a few. But, um, yeah, it's your health. And uh, if you push, they have to. They have to if you're insured. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but that's what you do. You push. So, you know, if you get the phone call, it says, well, everything shows you're fine. It says, well, then I'm not fine. So what's the next step? Who do I see now? Who's not, who's going to just BS me? And I think, you know, I mean, my primary care doctor did set me up with a CAT scan. I couldn't go because of the flu. Now I can't go because of the copay, yada, yada, yada. But at this point... Is that the best test for me? I don't think so. Because exactly, because it doesn't pick up scar tissue, and it doesn't, you know. I don't know what you're going to get out of a CAT scan. Exactly. So that's why I'm talking to um, this doctor, who's an internal medicine doctor. He 
can order more tests, he can order different tests, he can put stat on things, you know, he may just say, okay, I'm going to admit you in the hospital and we're going to run a barrage of tests on you and set you up for a surgery if we need to, you know. I don't know. We we don't know what's going to happen we, at this point. We need to push. We need to get a conclusion. Yeah, because I can't function like this. No. You guys don't know everything because there's a lot of stuff that is kind of TMI. So you guys don't know everything that's going on, but... if Once we get a diagnosis, we'll let you know. Yeah. Kevin's palm's itching. That means we're going to get money. It's probably going to be in Bitcoin just, just before it crashes. <laughs> so, I was just sleeping, and um, the doctor that we are currently working with at Kaiser called. And I just had like a 20, 30 minute talk with him. He was actually getting in his car while he was talking to us. I mean, <laughs> this guy, between him and his nurse, I, I think they really are concerned. And it finally feels good to have somebody concerned about what's going on and not just saying, oh, you know, you got to follow up here, you got to do this, you got to do that. You know, they're, they're actually listening. And it feels good to actually have that. So we got to send, we only have a thousand characters. That's all we got. We got a thousand characters um, to send an email. And we're going to probably have to send him two emails. Because he wants in-depth, detail information about... There's two main issues going on, and he wants in-depth de in detail information about both of those issues. And um, he's going to send them both to separate, separate surgeons, because it would be separate surgeries um, for evaluation. And he can't guarantee they're going to say yes. He can't. But he, he's going to do what he can, and if they say no, um, then he'll bring me in and we'll try and figure out other options. But he said they may ask for more tests, they may ask for other things, but he says with everything that's been going on, he thinks that's the best way to start it is with me giving him detailed information, how long the pain's been going on, how severe the pain is, what the pain actually is, what I believe is going on, and with the information from the doctor that did my gastric sleeve surgery um, being attached to it, hopefully they can come to some resolution. Yep. So that's all we've been doing today. We've been calling doctors and dealing with doctors and so we've been sitting here waiting for phone calls and been working on the computer, uh, for doing some editing and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much all we've been doing. And then I did, I'm going through papers trying to find uh, some records that we can't find. He has them, but we were actually given photos. The uh, doctor had given, had taken photos when he was, uh, he was uh, messing around inside your stomach. Said that there was severe soft tissue scar, tissue scar tissue. And we can get those pictures by asking the hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, sorry if I'm crying. Mm. I'm still upset about the whole thing. Um. We can get those pictures by asking the hospital, but there's really no need at this point. Um, if they need them, you know, I think the doctor will ask for them. Um, we even told him about the CAT scan and how we can't afford the copay. And when I told him what the copay was, he says, 
that's your copay? He says, that's almost as much as a normal one. So he couldn't believe that. Um, he couldn't believe the OBGYN that I went to did what she did. Um, and only did what she did. <laughs> so... I don't know. I'm just happy that we finally got a doctor that's actually listening. Yeah, so... And hopefully can help me. And he said hopefully within a week we'll have some answers. Uh, so tonight I am writing, we're just going to sit down and write a short history of Val's problems going back to your hysterectomy, I think. And um, then send that off and hopefully we'll have a response by um, tomorrow. S I was supposed to go fix something at mom's house, but I got sidetracked here, mom, so uh, I'll try and see if I can do that tomorrow. And I found the records you were looking for. Yay. Yay. So, anyway, I know it's a short video today. Um, I'm trying to keep up on comments. I didn't do much today. I've been sleeping a lot today. Um, but I will jump back on the comments as soon as possible. And um, maybe tomorrow, if we have time, we'll do my video of my coloring stuff and my colorings. If we have time. And um, that's about it. Do you have anything else to add? Nope. So, crying and all, we're going to call it a day, guys. <laughs> um, we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. Oh! Oh! Betsy, if you're watching, we miss you so much, dear. We do. And I understand medical illnesses and depression. Trust me. So, so much I understand. And if you can, just send me an email if you don't want to talk on, on the community chat. Send me an email, sweetie. I miss you so much. And I'm so sorry about your dad. So, anyway. We're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. What do you think? It's time for belly rubs? No, it's time to work. <laughs> Please share our video with your family and friends. Leave us a comment down below. But, most of all, please subscribe. <laughs>